Uh, morning, guys. Welcome to Football Brownie. Hope you're well. Keeping safe, keeping each other safe and spreading our love during this pandemic because we all need a little bit of loving, guys. We all need a little bit of loving. Now, before I go any further, please like, share, and most importantly, subscribe to the channel. Remember, subscription is free if you haven't done it yet. Hit that subscribe button right now. Uh, also, on the ticker bar below is my Facebook, my Instagram, and uh, my Twitter as well. Okay. Take a look at this piece of filth behind me. David Henderson. Sentenced 18 months in prison for his part in the Emiliano Sala plane crash. Um, let's go into the actual story. Um, Okay, I hope you guys can uh, see this anyway. Um, yeah, we're heading Emiliano Sala plane crash. David Henderson jailed for organizing fatal flight. A man has been jailed for organizing a flight which crashed into the English Channel, killing footballer Emiliano Sala. David Henderson, 67, pressing that with a lisp, was sentenced to 18 months in prison for endangering an aircraft at Cardiff Crown Court today. The plane carrying 28-year-old Salah went down off the coast of Guernsey in January 2019. The footballer was making the trip from France, or from French Club Nantes to Cardiff City, who had signed him in a multi-million pound transfer deal. The Argentine or Argentinian striker and pilot David Abbotson, who's 59, both died in the crash. It goes on to say Henderson was found guilty of endangering an aircraft by a majority verdict of 10 to 2 after a trial at Cardiff Crown Court last month. How can, who on earth are those two people? He had previously admitted to a charge of attempting to discharge a passenger without valid permission or authorization, for which he handed a concurrent. Th he was already handed a concurrent three-month sentence. David Henson's lawyer today confirmed his legal team are considering an appeal against the conviction and/or sentence. Henson of Hotham in East Ryden, Yorkshire, arranged a flight with a former football agent, William Willie Mackay, but was unable to fly the plane himself because he was away with his wife in Paris. Instead, he asked Mr. Abbotson, now this is the, this is the key part, instead he asked Mr. Abbotson, who regularly flew for him, despite not holding a commercial pilot license or any qualification to fly at night time to take the flight. Mr. Abbotson's rating to fly the American Piper Malibu aircraft had also expired. During Henderson's trial, the jury heard how moments after he found out the plane had gone down, the 67-year-old texted a number of people telling them to stay silent. In his closing speech, Prosecutor Martin Goodley QC told the jury the most basic checks did not take place. There was no paperwork, not even next to kin details. And... Of course, there were no records because there wouldn't be if you knew the pilot you were hiring was not qualified. What he did here was not an accident. What he did here was deliberate and reckless. He added, this is incompetent and documented, risk-creating and dishonest organisation. His defence had argued Henderson's role in a crash was purely paperwork issue. Absolutely disgraceful. Stephen Spence, QC defending, asked for his sentence to be suspended today but was refused. Henderson 
was said to have been affected physically and mentally by the crash and the subsequent trial and is now on beta blockers for heart condition. He now faces financial ruin. It has also had a knock-on effect on his wife who has been a court throughout the proceedings and is in court today, Mr. Spence said. At his age and her age, they are looking forward to a comfortable, most modest retirement, of course, now facing financial ruin. He feels very strongly, but he's been com he's completely let her down. That is something he finds very, very hard to bear. <laughs> you know, what about the family, mate? What about the family? As a result, uh, Salah's father uh, has, has passed away. Um, his sister uh, also tried to commit suicide. Jesus Christ. Commenting on the sentencing, Rob Buston, uh, Group Director of Safety Airspace Regulation at the UK Civil Aviation Authority, said, Our thoughts remain with the families and friends that are affected by this tragic accident. Legal communication flights represent a significant safety risk that is reflected in the court's decision today. The aviation system relies on the integrity of those involved. Anyone operating in a commercial flight should always have the necessary license and approvals in place. An inquest into Salah's death is to be held next year. Okay, there you are. That piece of filth behind me, I hope, rots in hell. Rots in prison because he deserves it. This, as we all know, is just one part of uh, the many court proceedings which is going on uh, regarding uh, the transfer of uh, Emiliano Sala. I would say that at least the family have had some justice, but I don't think it is. I don't think this is justice at all. However, we will see in the up and coming court proceedings of the other legal issues that were being um, were being uh, um, you know contested. My thoughts, my prayers, and my heart goes out to the family of Emiliano Sala. And on that note, I wish you all good day.